The shocking story of a lifeguard who lost his job for saving someone's life. It happened on a beach here in South Florida. The problem, though, isn't what the lifeguard did. It's where he did it. ABC's Matt Gutman joins us now from Miami with the story. Good morning to you, Matt. And good morning to you, Josh. That's right. Tommy Lopez, a lifeguard, literally crossed a line in the sand, stepping out of his lifeguard tower's uh, jurisdiction to go save a life. And the real heroism, Josh, is that in making that decision to save a life, he knew he would get himself fired. Lifeguard Tommy Lopez had trained for this very moment. I had a guest coming to me. There's someone drowning. There's someone drowning. I'm looking like I don't see anyone. He's like, they're way down over there. They're way down over there. So I just started running. He saved the life on Monday. He was popping up water and he was blue when I got him. His reward Tuesday, the pink slip. See the last building on this road with the orange? Yep. The 21 year old knowingly violated a rule that forbids guards from a privately run lifeguard company from leaving their station to help a swimmer in distress out of their jurisdiction. Tommy's guard station is about 100 yards that way down the beach. Now, beyond this sign, he's not allowed to go, but the person who was drowning was over there. And you're technically not allowed to go help them, even if you see a guy yeah. drowning or severely hurt in the water. I could have someone 10 feet past that buoy. A spokesperson for lifeguard contractor Jeff Ellis Management said, we have liability issues and can't go out of the protected area. When you got back to the station and they first told you that you were fired, what went through your mind? I knew I broke the rules that I knew I made my decision of taking the guy over my job. But the policy that got Tommy fired backfired. So let me get this straight. All of you basically resigned or were fired because of Tommy. You like yeah. this? Tommy's fellow lifeguards leave it en masse in disgust. Nothing could make that sound right that it's wrong to go save someone. Then he came across Brian Ritchie, walked off his guard tower, turning in his whistle and the shirt off his back. Did you just quit? I did just quit. How'd it go? It was rough. I'm glad that I can separate myself from this. I just knew I was doing I wasn't doing what the company wanted me to, and I just went over and did what I had to do. And Josh, in this collision between common sense and bureaucracy, common sense is winning out. Uh, they have a full-scale mutiny on their hands, that company. So far this morning, we've learned that seven lifeguards have either quit or intentionally gotten themselves fired. That company has had to bring in lifeguards from other beaches and other pools to man those towers. A Josh. hero is a hero, Matt. We do hope everyone's safe. We want to ask you, the condition of the person that Tommy saved? Well, his name has not been released. Uh, on Tuesday, he was taken out of intensive care. He's in stable condition. Uh, and we know that Tommy told us he would really like to reach out to him and connect to that man.